Hello! Today I thought I should look at the rewards for the Adventurous Squadron missions and indeed a few other things I actually neglected to look at previously in the other video. Plenty of time has passed since then and I've managed to get a better understanding of how things work. So the Adventurous Squadron as a light reminder to those unfamiliar is the ability to actively go into one of five dungeons with three other NPC members of your choice. These NPCs level up and gain new behaviour for their AI and additional ranks which actively increase their overall power in both defence and offence. You can go up to any of your NPCs in the barracks and actually talk to them to check on a few things. In all the time levelling through the squadron missions you probably acquired new behaviours for that NPC and you can change this between balance, defensive, independent and offensive. There seems to be a maximum of five levels for each tactic. Damage NPCs are best with the offensive tactic, tanks with the defensive and healers most of the time have had best success with independent on them, but most of the time I'm healing. On the second tab of the NPC menu you can actually respec that NPC to another role or class, however this consumes rare books which you will have to acquire through the Grand Company. The fourth tab is Glamour. In this you can simply select any armour part on the left, click on an item from the list on the right and instantly preview it. Once you're happy with your overall set, the cost of doing this is listed for you. And once you confirm this you will actually have to use the glamour prisms that it would usually take on your own character to glamour each of those slots. The only limit is your imagination and of course the usual class restrictions on certain pieces of gear from raids etc. So on this footage I only have a couple of runs of something with a squadron to do before I unlock the 10 missions completed achievement which will actually reward me with some emotes for my character. To make these runs faster there is currently at the time of this video a small glitch which might be fixed in the future who knows with the engage button whereupon it resets global cooldowns on abilities for your NPCs once you press it so if you spam it they will use their big cooldowns nearly every second or so. This means that if you have two archers in your group and you tank or heal you'll melt bosses with their near infinite barrage and straighter shot. Just a small preview here of how quickly we melt Koschai the second boss of Stone Vigil in a matter of seconds fully avoiding mechanics and the cannons you would usually have to deal with. Hefty damage is incurred if you skip the cannons however but as long as you spread away from your NPCs you should survive and get the boss killed before anything happens anyway. Either way, once you've done your 10 missions you unlock the various workout emotes for your character. The achievement Dear Leader 1 unlocks the squats, push-ups, sit-ups and breath control emotes. Here they are for your reference. So now I guess you can cosplay Cloud Strife with some relative accuracy with the squat emote. These are all of course used by the NPCs between and during training exercises in the barracks. People requested them for their characters and we finally got them. In addition to these emotes you can actually get two more from your grand company outside the barracks at the desk for the low, 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 I'm just kidding, painful price of 40,000 grand company seals each with an 80k price tag if you were to purchase both of them. You can get one of the two new emotes, the attention emote and the at ease emotes. These do exactly what they say on the tin, basically they make your character stand to attention like you're in the army and the at ease emote places your hands behind your back. Again, we've seen these emotes by NPCs during the main storyline a while back, probably with the Crystal Braves, and it's great to finally see them in our list. So what do you think of emotes? Do you actually use them? Do you have one that you really, really want? Maybe you're an RP. -er. What do you think of being able to actually earn these in the game rather than purchase them on the Mog Station? Let me know below, and as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.